Welcome to Xbox One at One with myself, Megan Everett. Thank you for joining us today on what I hope is a lovely Monday. I'm having a lovely Monday. Helen, are you having a lovely Monday? I'm having a lovely Monday. I mean, you got splashed with water. I really did. On the way to I work. was devastated. I know. I would be too. <laughs> I was like, I have to tell Megan she's in the kitchen. It's like, right, the first person you see, and it's like, <laughs> I got splashed with water. It's very, very wet out there today in London, Ontario. But welcome. Hope you had a great weekend. We had a lot of snow over the weekend for a bit there. But all in all, a decent weekend. We've eaten liches today. No, Todd. Take it a lich break. We're going to uh, dive into some acolytes since they are live only until this Friday, Valentine's Day. <laughs> uh, so we're going to be just hanging out with the acolytes, trying to get them goods before they're gone again for who knows how long. Uh, Let's jump in to the week report. What is going on in the world of console? So, as you know, Railjack and Kubelich changes went live last week. They first went live on, well, PC, PS4, Xbox One, and then it was still in separate Switch, and then by the grace of the Lotus, it went through nice and fast. So, it also came out on Switch last week, which means we're all caught up, and we're gonna get even more caught up because tomorrow something comes on all platforms. We'll get to that shortly. But currently right now you guys have the Railjack changes, the Kuva Lich changes. There's a whole bunch of stuff uh, in the forum thread, of course, to catch yourself up on. Uh, Tenogen bundle is in there for console, which is really awesome. We're getting caught up on some of those. Anomaly shards, buffs, all that jazz is in the forum post. So if you want to check it out, be in the know. It's a read, but it's good to know what's going on in your console. So check it out if you'd like. 
Nightwave Intermission is live. We are working on Glassmaker, which is the next installment of the Nightwave series. Uh, so if you want to take your guesses at that, I'm pretty sure we didn't spoil too much on the dev stream. I know they kind of talked about it more, uh, but it's still kind of a mystery. So if you guys want to take some guesses as to what it is, give her. I've been seeing some correct ones now that I we've said it's not about Gara. So <laughs> it's come. It's it's you guys are getting there. Proud of you. Uh, we do have a contest that is live, and this is of course centered around Valentine's. This is Love is in the Arrow contest. Helen, do you want to tell them what it's all about? Yeah. So we want you to be a bit of a cupid in game. Find two NPCs. They can be enemies. They can be friends. And we just want <laughs> you to take a screenshot or capture an image of you firing that cupid zero right at them. I love it. I love it. As is, how's the uh, the submission so far? Adorable. Loving them. Mm -hmm. Loving What's your, them. Do you have a favorite one so far? <laughs> Can't say. Oh, I can't, can't say. But we will have the winners uh, most likely this Thursday on primetime because the contest yes. does end on Thursday. And then if Helen can get through all of the submissions <laughs> uh, and give it you know the right amount of time to judge, then hopefully we'll be announcing the winners on Thursday night, our Valentine's special, because the next day is Valentine's. So why not celebrate on a Thursday? Mm -hmm. Why not? Uh, moving on. The Acolytes have returned. Uh, you guys have asked for this. They are back, minus, uh, I believe it's Misery. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Misery will come back at some point. Um, it's just, unfortunately, we couldn't get Misery to work without it not breaking some things. Uh, but we did want to get these Acolytes. <laughs> they are ugly. <laughs> you know, they're not meant to be, you know, the most prettiest things, I guess. Uh, they're meant to be menacing and scary. But uh, you mean Marcus asked for this? Yes, Marcus definitely <laughs> asked for this. You're not wrong. Bless Marcus. Um, Misery will come eventually, not in this round of uh, Acolytes, but I'm, I'm not even going to say the next. I'm just saying at some point, <laughs> Misery will, will return. Uh, just don't know when just yet, uh, but it's we are in the know and we are going to make it happen at some point. Moving on, Heart of the Ortis. Uh, this is our little Valentine's collection is live. If you check out the market, you can get some old glyphs, some brand new glyphs, uh, the color palette. And of course, Darvo is being the kind soul that he is, and he has some sales for you in game if you want to check those out. There is the arrow skin, the arrow's oro ornament, which is a little heart, which I love so much. Uh, and then a whole bunch of other stuff. So check out the market if you want to get uh, some of those goodies for Valentine's this year. And then Twitch Prime, you know all about it. We got a lot of stuff going on. We got Starter Pack, Boost, and then just Twitch Prime. So if you want to hit that crown over there and you have Twitch Prime, you can check out all the other stuff that you can get, as well as these great Warframe stuff if you want to give yourself a little something something. So Prime Vault, this is what I meant by tomorrow. We'll be even more on board with everyone because all platform wide, we're going to be switching out the Prime Vault. Currently, uh, Volbon and Ash are in the Prime Vault as well as their oops, sorry, their <laughs> their relics uh, are all in game uh, in the drop table, so you can find them. Tomorrow on all platforms, they're going to put out a hot fix, and it will add in Necros Prime and Oberon Prime to the Prime Vault, and adding those relics into the game, so you can find. So the Volbon and Ash ones will be taken out. Um, as well as the weapons that came with them. So those will be taken out of the game and the Prime Vault for them will be closed, thus opening up the new Prime Vault for Necros Prime and Oberon Prime and then their relics for their weapons and of course them themselves are, will be added to the game so you can get them uh, from gameplay. And of course, if you have the relics, uh, you know, any vaulted relics, you own them, you get to keep them. Same as always. My boy, Necros Baby, let's get it. <sighs> I know a lot of people are happy about Necros Prime being back, and I don't blame you. I'm going to be playing Necros Prime tonight, just because I think he looks cool. Are any weapons going to be vaulted? All the weapons that are with uh, Vauban Prime and Ash Prime will be vaulted. No new ones are being vaulted, just the ones that are currently in the Prime Vault with Vauban and Ash Prime. Those will go back into the vault, and then, as you can see, uh, these Prime uh, weapons will be brought back. Tigris Prime, exactly. Tigris Prime, baby. Galatine Prime. Oh, it's going to be a good time. And then, of course, the Prestige Collection 2 is live on Xbox. If you want to show off some Xbox pride, check it out. And that's it. That's it. That's all. Let's do 400 Platinum, shall we? We shall. We shall do it. 
Uh, I'm just really quick going. Someone is at, oh, that's not what I want. She types fast. Oh God, I'm not gonna do that, Never mind. Uh, oh, scatter glitches on Twitch. You have won a 400 platinum and fluffy raven. Are ravens fluffy? I guess it's a matter would of perspective. A, would you call a bird fluffy? Would you call it silky? Smooth? Hmm. Fluffy Raven on <laughs> Mixer. Congratulations, you have won Foreign and Platinum. Please whisper either the Twitch or Mixer platform you've won on with your in-game alias and the platform you play on so we can get you your 400 Platinum. You lucky, lucky viewers. Lucky bird. Lucky, smooth bird. I would say they're, I mean, I mean, have you ever seen a silky chicken? Oh. That's a fluffy bird. Are chickens birds? Yes. Oh, yes. Mm. Flightless birds. Mm. Mm -hmm. Most Confusing. birds are feathery, smooth bird, dirty bird. I don't think ravens are dirty. <laughs> they just kind of look like, you know, I don't know, what is it? Crows. Crows are like the ominous ones. Oh, they're cool. Chickens are developed raptors. Okay. Chickens are not flightless. Someone is fighting you on that fact. Helen. Okay, that's... To Google she goes. Uh, yep. <laughs> ravens are really smart. I believe this. Uh, dinosaurs are birds. Chickens can fly, just not very far. That's what HGTV has to say about it. And we trust HGTV, <laughs> don't we? Megan, hello from Belgium. Hello, Belgium. Bird is the word. Birds aren't real, they are government drones. Can you imagine? <laughs> David Attenborough would be shook if birds turned out to be a government drone. It's a conspiracy. Yeah. We're talking about ostriches? Oh, I love ostriches. Emus, ostriches, I don't know the difference. Hello from Germany, Guten Tag. <laughs> I always don't know how to say it, or which one it is. Uh, chickens glide, not fly. Chickens are modern Trek. Uh, what about tuxedo birds? Penguins? Oh, I love penguins. Oh. Penguins are so cute. Little fluffy babies. Hello from Manitoba, hello. You're on the, oh God, the west coast. Manitoba? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I should have never even started that sentence. It's just not a good time for me to and I do geography. Need so, to pick a penguin Warframe. Have you seen Vobon Prime? I fight for the right that he looks like a penguin. Rebecca does not agree with me. She constantly says I'm wrong about that. I think his helmet looks like a penguin. He looks like he has a little like dapper suit on like a penguin. Anyone else in chat? I think so. Did someone say penguins? Yes, I gotta love penguins. He's a train. I know, he's like a train con conductor? Conductor? Oh. How's the anime, Megan? It's good. I'm caught up on my hero. Last episode oh, was, good. was just a bit of a filler. Well, that's fine. We got some, uh, uh, I don't know how to say his name. It's like Aoyama or something. He got real weird. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, anime friends? Am I right? I started watching Kill the Kill. Mmm. I couldn't get through the first episode. I was just like, what am I watching? Uh, yeah. You know, that sums it up. Yeah. But I feel and like yet you... I'm on episode six. Really? Yes. Good for you. I feel like if you can watch that, you'd go into JoJo next, right? I actually, I was thinking that. I was like, this is the no an obvious next, next step for me. Yeah. Just ease yourself into to mm -hmm. the weird animes. <laughs> it's out there. It is out there. What's in the cup? It's coffee. It's always coffee. And this is coffee from this morning that was brewed, and it's still warm. <laughs> is Rev on your balcony, Megan? No. <laughs> I hope not. The cold out there. Uh, watch Hunter x Hunter. Want to, haven't done it yet. I really want to watch the one, and this sounds, it's not weird because it's actually a really popular anime, but there's one about uh, volleyball. Oh. Like a boys volleyball team. Okay. And I just, Play, I play volleyball and love volleyball, so I feel like watching this would get me like so pumped up yes. when I go to play my games. <laughs> I just feel like I should just dive into it. Is that next on your list? It kind of like, it's just not something I normally watch. Usually I watch ones that are like a bit more like fantasy or like obviously not real. It's about, yeah. you know, abilities, powers, whatever the hell. <laughs> Is it called Haiku? Interesting. Let's mm. see. Mm. Mm hmm. Haiku. Let's jump into the game, shall Is we? Is this the one, Megan? Yeah! yeah it's haiku. Haiku. I didn't know the name. Uh, where are my legs? They're right here. <laughs> Trusty old legs right here for you. All right, let's get into the game. <laughs> Bit of a knee slapper. Uh, okay. 
What am I gonna, so, I mean, here you go, Necros Prime coming out with the vault, Tigris Prime also coming out, and I'm just, ne I didn't even oh, do this yeah. on purpose. If you remember, this was my loadout other than Necros Prime last week, so I didn't do anything. Megan doesn't have legs, it's true. I actually thought about that, cause I mean, <laughs> no, I didn't think about that, but like, obviously not including this stream. Well, even sometimes this stream, you don't normally see like our bottom halves. Like That's I could be true. wearing like pajamas and you'd never know. We could be mermaids. We could be mermaids, we could just be legless people. That's and true. like on prime time, all you ever see is like, you know, <laughs> this up. So it's like, do they have legs? We could be centaurs. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> Being a centaur. Sign me up for that. Yeah. Sign me up for that. All right. Let's uh let's schedule some gameplay. Acolytes are live. You can get their sweet goodies. And uh, I need some people to play with me. Well, we, let's see what we got here. Ooh, angst unknown. Get your ugly mug <laughs> out of here. I can't see. Okay, okay, they're all unknown. So we gotta find them before we can fight them. What a big sword. Ain't that right? So if you're on Xbox One and you'd like to join me today. We're gonna be doing some just casual acolyte hunting. Well, how would a centaur wear pants? Oh my God, let's knock into this conversation. Of weird animals wearing pants. I can't, I cannot get into it. Do the exploiter orb. I actually played the exploiter orb a bunch on PC last week. So I was trying to get the last Hildren part and I did. Well done. Cause I wanted to play Hildren for the stream to do the augment. So la la la, great time. Anyways, anybody. Alias time, how about Twisted Phantom 3? Ooh, like Phantom of the Opera. The Phantom. Phantom. And then number three? Yeah. Just oh, me. you have Phantom. Huh. I didn't mean to do that. Twisted Phantom 3. Phantom. Yep. Okay. Ooh, one for one. We have so far so good. Winner forever. Oh. Winner number four. And then EVR. Oh. No E. No E. Tricky. Doesn't exist. Maybe they misspelled. Wanna try forever? Correctly. <laughs> Winner forever. Eh? Aww. Oh. Feels oh. I mean, there is a please at the end. Maybe it's actually winner forever please, but I feel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, but. it's um winner forever to 10. They have. Oh, they forgot the number? Yeah. They, like that? Yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, and they're not accepting. Okay. We went through all this trouble for you. And nothing. Uh, how, how, why would you do this? Why would you do this okay, course? Okay, well, how about Doom Slayer 9624? I wonder if they're excited for the new Doom. I bet they are. You said 9624? That's right. I'm sorry, 9624. Hello? <laughs> oh, <laughs> cannot deliver. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, they joined. <laughs> Wonderful. So we still need one more. Uno mas. Mm, Wolf Gamer 3324. 3324? Yeah. I woo to you, sir. Alright, who do we got so far? We got Twisted Phantom 3. Let's see what they got. Looks like they have Umbra. Oh my god. You kind of look like Krampus going on with that. A little bit of a- Ooh, Krampus. A dark lord. Your operator looks very innocent compared to your very scary Umbra, which is wearing Excalibur Deluxe, which is top tier. Ooh, and you got the Parasesis. You've been doing some anomaly hunting. And then who else do we got here? Doomslayer. Ash Prime. You don't need that. You don't need to get on that vault. You already got Ash Prime. Oh, oh, I love the- uh, the vent kid helmet. Oh yes. Well, Helen, you know all about that. I do very well. <laughs> Every detail. Oh, the cosplay ying ying ying. Ying ying ying. ying, ying, ying. <laughs> Wolf Gary, three, three, two, four. What do you got going on? Revenant? Oh, show me the beard. Yes. Oh, very, very sleek. Not too busy. I like it. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for keeping it true. Oh, this this guy looks like you scare me in the middle of the night. <laughs> All right, let's do the acolyte hunting. So as you can see, the locations are unknown. So via people, players, we go out and find them and then eventually these will come known and we can hunt them down. So we're just gonna play some missions, see what we got. Where do we wanna go? 
What do you want? Oh, someone named Crow or Crow. Um, I mean, we could do, what is it, two birds, one stone? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hate that saying. And it's a really, really sad one. It just brings me back to the time I killed a bird with a stone. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it was one bird, one stone, but I feel really bad about it to this day as an adult. Okay. Um, oh, let's see. I'm just trying to do a quick one. Let's capture. Oh, let's just start. Oh, I want a quick one so I can just pop in and pop out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, there we go. Chat doesn't seem, well, not everyone in chat seems to know about your bird story. Oh, I mean, it's quite simple. <laughs> I was a very young child, alone in my backyard, kicking rocks. And there was just, just, there was a bird on the other side of the fence. And I was being a kid, being like, go away, bird and tried to like, I was throwing rocks at the tree to try and like scare it to fly away. And then I hit the bird with the rock and the bird hit the ground. <sighs> and then the neighborhood dumpster cat came by and took the bird. Holy crap. <laughs> and I was mortified. <laughs> mortified. That's horrific. Yeah. And uh, did not continue uh, throwing rocks at anything after that. <laughs> Just like. And one time, I, sh I should have took this as a premonition, but there was a time where my sister and I, as children, in the backyard, were playing badminton, and we couldn't find the birdie, so we were playing with rocks instead of a birdie. And she just wailed one right at my face. Oh. And I had like a big goose egg on my head from a, a rock. I should have took that as, rocks don't, hurt? Don't touch rocks, Megan. Sir Dirksworth said exactly what was on my mind when he told the story, which was, you had a neighborhood dumpster cat? <laughs> Yeah, you know, just like the cat that is doesn't belong to anyone, but everyone feeds it and takes care of it, but it eats out of the dumpster still. <laughs> that kind of cat, you know? Yeah. And it just like, it was just like, maybe it was like already there looking at the bird and I just happened to not notice it. And the next thing you know, I'm feeding this cat. Oh, it, was, it was a bad time, guys. That's tough. That's don't tough. ever, don't ever throw rocks at anything. I was a child, I was dumb, and here I am, you know, over, a decade later, still thinking about it <laughs> and still very upset about it. I'm very upset with my childhood behaviors. Hey, kids do crazy things. They don't know. This is how you learn. This is how you grow. Oh, I've grown. We've gotten a few people reminding us this is the circle of life. Very wise. I mean, I don't think a human child throwing a rock at a bird <laughs> out of boredom is the circle of life. Maybe but more than we think. I know, honestly, probably, which is really sad, but I messed up, guys, okay? Okay, I've got it. Please forgive. What kind of bird? It was just like a, just like a, like a crow, probably. Okay, or, yeah, yeah. So. Like it wasn't like a parrot, right? <laughs> I thought there would be a parrot in a tree, I don't know. My Uncle Dave has a parrot. Does he? His name is Grumper. Oh. And he's missing the top half of his beak. Stop. Because the mom pecked it off. Oh! My Uncle Dave takes birds that are rejected from like this bigger bird oh. farm by the other birds and that's one of them that is the cutest thing i've heard mm, don't sweet. tell him about my bird story <laughs> he, won't. he won't he won't like me <laughs> i'm sure he'd understand you're a kid <laughs> no he'd be like you stupid child yeah. I'm so um sorry. greetings earthlings says tarja oh greetings uh funny you say earthlings i started watching and i'm not done it and i don't know anything about it except for what, I've, what has transpired so far. But I started watching, it's actually a movie, it's called Horse Girl. Okay. It's got Alison Brie in it from Community. Um, there's some other people in there as well that are familiar, but it, I, I Googled it. Actually, no, I got the email from Netflix being like, you'd enjoy this based on what you watch. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. And then, <laughs> It's got like a weird, or it's just like a very boring, mellow intro. And then I'm like, what is, I don't understand. So I Googled it just to see like what people were saying. And the very first like article about it is watching Horse Girl is uncomfortable. And I'm like, oh no. Oh. Oh no, what have I done? But I'm like, I'm intrigued by is it. Is you know? she a horse girl? Well, there's there's something to, something to do with horses, that's for sure. Okay. It's like on a horse farm, and I don't want to spoil anything if anyone wants to watch it, but 
huge. Lots of no spoiler requests from chat. Oh, I won't say, yeah. There is a horse For involved, sure. But that's in the trailer for it, so it's fine. <laughs> but it's starting to get weird and I'm into it. Okay, good weird? Good weird. Good weird. Cause I don't know why I've been on like a, and I don't even know if this has anything to do with Horse Girl, but I've been on like a, a whodunit murder mystery kick. Ooh. I binged a show called The Stranger. Yikes. And then I binged a show called, uh, uh, oh, The Sinner. I watched The Sinner, which is really good, Jessica Biel. Oh, Stellar name. God, it's so good. Both sound very scary. They're not really scary, they're more just like suspenseful. Oh no. Like I'm not gonna have nightmares, oh maybe. But. Are they true stories? Uh, I don't think so. I'd be very shocked if they were. <laughs> hey. Especially the stranger one, that one was a bit weird. Uh oh. Any oh. dreams lately, Megan? Yeah. Yes. Actually, yes. What? Uh, I had one last know. night. And I, I can't really remember it, cause like, if I don't talk about it right away, I won't remember it. Were you in an airport? No. You were in my dream last night, we were in an <gasps> airport. Really? Yeah, Tell it was me more. wacky. Um, the gist of it was we were trying to catch a flight and the person was like, sorry, it's going, like you've missed it. But we got to the door and then they were kind of like, okay, you can come in, whatever. But neither of us had our passport. We realized we'd left oh. it somewhere. We were going to miss it, but it, it had a weird quality to it. We ended up like, not in a cool way. We ended up flying <laughs> to our destination, like ourselves. <laughs> not in a cool but way. But it wasn't though. cool because it turned out we were like, Oh, this is a theme in my dreams all the time. We had, we were like government research rejected things that oh. people wanted to catch. So that was part of why we had to get on this plane and get out. And yeah. then we were stuck in this position using our powers and getting caught out and yeah. Oh. That's the gist. The gist. Hit us with yours, Megan. I don't, I don't even know. Well, and I just saw Kyle say, don't you write them down. I do normally write them down. I only write them down if like, I'm actually intrigued by them or I care about them. Uh, this dream was like, it was all broken up because my sleep was bad. So I kept waking up and like going back to sleep. And I had a dream about like trying to figure out what I wanted to wear today. <laughs> so was, you know what I mean? It's yeah. just like, cause I was thinking about like, oh, when I wake up, what am I gonna wear? What am, you know, uh, and it's just like, okay, whatever. Like, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? So that's why I like, didn't care to write it down because like obviously I was just thinking about what I wanted to wear today. One of those states where it's like you woke up for a second, you fell back asleep, and you're yeah. dreaming about if you were awake. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like what I, I'm dreaming about what I'm about to do in 30 minutes when my alarm goes off. I regret asking you. <laughs> it's fine, Travis. It's just, it was uneventful, that's for sure. It would have been whack if you had a dream you were in an airport. That would have blown my mind. I do have those dreams a lot. I, they only really happen though, like when I know I have a trip coming up, like if we go somewhere right. for work. What's wrong? Oh no, I said right. Oh. In agreement. Um, I commonly will have forgetting passport dreams or like waking up late or my plane takeoff time has changed and no one told me, blah, blah, blah. blah. So oh. I have that a lot. That would suck. I have that a lot. Sleep is that, what is that? I hibernate? Oh, I wish. Bear wish I could chat. I mean, a, a bear. literal bear. <laughs> Are you a literal bear in chat? Let's do a platinum prize, shall we? So let's do it. Let's do, 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 do it. 400 platinum has gone to me. Congrats, Megan. Thanks. <laughs> uh, it's gone to Here's Scruffy on Twitch and Speed Devil on Mixer. Congratulations. You both have won 400 platinum. Please whisper either the Twitch or Mixer platform you want on the channel with your in-game alias and the platform you play Warframe on so we can get you. Oh, I did not mean to waypoint. Why did I do that? Satan? There we go. Satan, hold on. Uh, so we can get you your platinum. Sorry. I got distracted. I'm my own waypoint. No prob. No prob. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Excellent work. But I also have dreams about like my alarm not going off and Usually when it's stressful, I think we, I, we've talked about this, Helen, where mm -hmm. my hands don't work Ooh. or they don't work well and I can't. Even if I'm doing like very simple things like trying to put, I don't know, trying to brush my hair or something that's like not super trivial, like my hands just don't work. Symbolism. It's weird. Dreams are ripe with symbolism and I'm all over it. 
Um, oh, I had another thought to ask about your dreams. Escaping <laughs> me. We're, we're back cool. into the dream was, file. Um, I was fascinated by the idea that you could die in your dreams. Like, no one dies mm. in their dreams, but you actually do. That's, That's sweet. I would say it's a regular occurrence that I die in my dream, but that one time, yes, I did die in my dream. That's a cool, unique quality. I don't know, maybe someone in chat has, but you're the first person I've heard of having it Because I think usually, and this is exactly what happened, is it's kind of like the either dying or like falling off a cliff. You usually wake up when you hit the bottom or like you wake up when you've died or whatever. Mm -hmm. and like that's what happened to me, right? Like I just woke right up and I was like, oh, okay. Guess I died. <laughs> How rude. Yeah, that's like sweet. It's sweet. I don't have... I don't have extra lives. I guess I do have extra lives. I wonder how many I have. Meg's dreams give me nightmares. My dreams give you nightmares? Don't. Whoa, that's don't. hardcore. That's aggressive. I also woke up after dying. Oh God, Travis. I died in one but came back as a ghost? That would've been sick. Whoa, that's cool. That would've been amazing. I wish. I wanna be a ghost. Wanna you wanna be, be a ghost? I'd love to be a ghost. Would you haunt people? I wouldn't haunt them, I'd just like, so, take this as you may, but like, I'm not a very social person a lot of times. There's so many times where I'm out with people and I'm like, I wish I was a fly on the wall and could just like, observe interactions. Oh. Like, I love people watching, not in a weird way, in like a, I like seeing people's mannerisms yeah. and like, you know, the classic, oh, you can tell, not you can tell, but like maybe they're on a first date or like, you know what I mean? Like, oh I like trying God. to yes. think about like, what's happening in this situation. Locations, come on guys. Um, I'm just picking random spots to try and get these guys to spawn. Um, sure, why not? Anyway, so yeah, there's many times where I'd love to just be a fly on the wall and not a, no, I'm not a stock. I'm not a stock. <laughs> I just want to be like invisible and just like, just people watch, but not weird. I think I, people do that. Like that's not a crazy idea. Yeah. Like I've sat in a cafe and drank coffee and watched people walk by on the street. Sometimes I'm looking at their fashion. Sometimes I'm looking at their hair, you know? I'm just, I'm just not creepy. I'm not creepy. Um, what was I talking about? You were talking about how you, oh, if being you were a ghost. a ghost. Yeah, so if I was a ghost in real life, that's what exactly I'd do. I'd like, just people watch. I wouldn't totally. like, screw with anyone, I'd just people watch. Okay, that's kind of cool. I know. I'd definitely screw with people. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was, screw some shit up. I would, sure. absolutely. Really? Oh, anyone yeah. in particular? No, I would just, I would like haunt oh. a house or something, but I'd be fun about it. Like I wouldn't want to traumatize anyone, but I'd make them wonder. <laughs> How would you not traumatize someone by being a ghost? It's a really good question. I'd probably not pick anyone who like is obviously having a tough time oh. or hey, maybe I would. And I'd be like, I'm your new ghost buddy. Mm. I'd have to be careful about it. Yes, okay. But I would do something like just move an object maybe when they left the room, okay. subtle things. Okay, okay. Maybe amp it up, never hurt anyone. <laughs> just. Have a little fun with it. I think it would be fun. Has anyone had any ghost experiences Ooh. in chat? Any ghost? I used to think that <laughs> I had some kind of like, not paranormal, but I used to think I could maybe like see things because, and this is probably just me and my poor vision developing over time. Um, but I used to think that I would see like shadows in the corner of my eye. How do I explain this? Like, like I remember one time very specifically I was in, my like dining room kitchen of the house we lived in and out of the corner of my eye, I thought I saw something like, like just like a dark mass or whatever, just like drop like off the table. And I look at obviously there's nothing there, but I kept like seeing. Also, I think that house was haunted. So that's a whole different story, but. Man, I believe it. Oh, that house was wild. Um, <laughs> it was, it was messed up. Uh, but so I was convinced I was like, I used to think it was like children playing. I don't know, I watched a lot of weird TV shows as well, so I hey, probably didn't know. you help. know what? I, I'm not gonna write it off, Megan. I'm here for it. But I don't, I don't, I don't frequently experience any of that anymore, so. I think it was the house, honestly. It was a messed up house. There's a house on the street where I grew up, and it is for sale every six months. Oh God. <laughs> because, I, and everyone on the street, it, it's like this unspoken thing. We all know it's haunted. Really? But no one will say it to the people who moved in. They just move out. It's like, welcome, see you later. And We're like, oh, sold again. It's a beautiful house. Um, it used to be a funeral parlor. Oh, a lot of spirits in that one. Yeah, but my, my mom taught someone who lived there for a time and she was like, oh no, we're leaving. Like, 
they hear whispers in the night and Whoa. things. Yeah. Ooh, I love it. Ooh, it's a little spooky. Let's see. There was someone who said they have a ghost in their basement. I'm trying to find who it was. Tell me more. I need to know more. It was Ted Yell Patron. Tell me more. Someone says the my bathroom is haunted. It's weird. I'm gonna have to clean it. There's always blood <laughs> leaking out of the pipes. <laughs> what a liar! Get out of here with your lying. I want real ghost stories. <laughs> yeah, we want the real stuff. I want okay. the real stuff. I want to call Paranormal Activity on you. I know, what is it, Paranormal Hunters or whatever it is? I love that show. My girlfriend's front door has a motion sensor camera that picked Ooh. up what looked like a person made of mist at 3 a.m. says Emerald Phoenix. Those give me goosebumps, like seeing like doorbell cams or like front door cameras when they pick weird stuff up. Like there was that one not too long ago where someone thought it was uh, a Harry Potter promotion because it looked like a weird little Dobby elf creature Ooh. was like creeping up someone's driveway and I was like, wow, I love it. <laughs> Ask for ghost story complains about lies. You cannot tell me that the person saying that there's blood coming out of their pipes all the time is not lying to me. Maybe Pennywise has got him. Like, should we knock it? I don't you know. You better, you better get your your raincoat on and you better run, boy. When I was younger, my glass back door shattered for no reason. Oh. See, I'm not here to debunk anything, but like, there's probably a science behind that. <laughs> like heat. Cool. Forever Pedantic has one here. Okay. In the apartment where my son was born, one night I was on the balcony having a smoke when all of a sudden, bang, my dog has bolted upstairs and mm. it was a duplex. Mm -hmm. And it is barking like crazy. And my son is bawling in his crib. I get in, the mirrors are all down and my dog and my son are staring at the corner edging <gasps> up to me. We slept downstairs that oh! night. Oh, I love it. When like animals react, to like I used to think that my cat could see ghosts all the time, because my sister and I would like be in the basement, and they would just stop what they're doing and just like stare at one corner of the room, and I'm like, there's a ghost! <laughs> there's gotta be a ghost <laughs> hanging out in the corner of that room. Oh yeah, when my chihuahuas bark at nothing, I'm like, it's either like a squirrel or a ghost. Or a ghost is coming. I'm always convinced it's probably a ghost. Um, I won't get into it, but my dad has seen stuff and when I was buying a house I had him go through each one with me and tell me whether it was haunted. Really? Yes. Oh I love it. My house is not. Very good. Thumbs it's clean, up. doesn't need to be saged. No, no we're good. Megan I recommend you browse Reddit no sleep. Oh no. Is that the new creepy pasta? Like I want to sleep so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> or is this someone was saying I have a story. I tend to get bad anxiety attacks every time they happen to me. Oh. Oh. Aww. I'm sorry, that's awful. And they, oh, okay. Well, apparently this ghost has, help, has helped them get to their medication when they couldn't find it before. So mm. that's lovely. That's a nice, that would be like that what you do. That would be a nice ghost. Yeah, that's a nice ghost. That's hard though. It's sorry you hear anxiety attacks are bad. Yeah, that's awful. Ah, Jericho blood reminding us of the man in the wall. The man in the wall is real. Mm-hmm. It's a real deal, guys. It's a real scary story. Megan's floaters? Is that what I think those weird, like, black things were? Oh, yeah, those are a thing. Is that what that is, floaters? Yeah, it should be. I mean, I also just, I have very bad eyesight, so it could have just been, like, my eyes bugging out. <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah. Agent Cider rem reminding us that ghosts are the Matrix programs not returning to the source. <laughs> Has that been confirmed? <laughs> If we are indeed in the Matrix. Mm. Mm. Keanu Reeves was at the Oscars last night looking great. Oh, I must say. <laughs> Dent isn't having the ghost stories. <laughs> Why? They don't like ghost stories or they don't believe it? Nah, they're not believing it at all. I ain't believing any of this shit. <laughs> I don't know, like, I, I want to believe it because I think it's fun. At the same time, like, if something weird were to happen to me, I'd be like, oh, God! <laughs> yeah, it's true. I would be terrified. But I hearing... always think, what if something did happen and there's no way you can explain it to people? No one's going to believe you. That would suck. That would suck. That's probably what 90% of ghost stories are. <laughs> are they for you? I'm yeah. in the middle of the Chains of Horror quest on my Switch. Well, turn off your lights. Turn up the volume. Have yourself a good time. That'll be fun and easy for you. Yeah. Hope you like ghosts. Um, <laughs> all right. well, should we run our next Latin prize? Yeah, while, sure. we're, while we're having a little lull. Having a little ghost story lull. Oh, there's someone just from the 70s. <gasps> they have a story. Wait, Will you grab that? Oh, I'll grab that. All right. 
From the 70s would never lie to me, so. No. It's obviously a ghost story. Absolutely. Um, would you like to read out the winners, and then we'll get yeah, this sorry. one? Yeah, uh, sorry. Oh, God. XI? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, on Twitch, and Makai. On Mixer, congratulations. You both have won Ford and Platinum. Please whisper either the Twitch or Mixer uh, platform you've won on with your in-game alias and the platform you play Warframe on so we can get you your Ford and Platinum. There you go. All right, from the 70s. Give it to me. <clears throat> One time, I was at my buddy's apartment after work, and he lived with another family as a roommate. They had a toddler. Well, anyway... Kids are scary, Earl. Kids I'm are scary. scared. They went on vacation, and he was spooked and had me come hang out. We were watching movies, and the kid's little sit-on train flipped over and started making its electric noises literally out of nowhere. He didn't have a pet that could have done it. Still creeps me out. Ooh! Children's toys. Children's Ooh. toys. That's what I mean. Kids are creepy. Their toys are creepy. Just can't get away from it. Not nice. Bunch of creepies. <laughs> Deadpool Zamb Zamboni offering a reality check. Remember, people once thought the Earth was flat, so... People still think the Earth is flat. <laughs> oh, dear science. Science Ooh. is good. Science will explain everything eventually, right? It's gotta. It's I science. love me some science, evidence, and reason. 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 <laughs> Favorite horror movie, question mark? Um, the Shining is definitely a classic. Uh, I say this all the time, but I think the best horror movie of all time is the original Martyrs. I will never not say that. Ooh. It is so disturbing. <laughs> I don't even know that one. What's the premise? Uh, I can't really say it without giving it away. Okay. Because then yeah, I'd give it away. <laughs> so <laughs> I won't say it. But it's very good. It's very creepy. And the ending made me physically uncomfortable. Oh, my girlfriend's here. Oh, God, I died. Uh, favorite Halloween candy? Uh, the little mini O. Henry bars. Oh. Top tier. Top tier. A favorite anime? My hero. My hero. <laughs> I will am... never watch a horror movie after watching Prometheus. Why? Oh. Prometheus is not even a horror movie, though. Unless I'm missing something. I'm not thinking of the right thing. I know the egg, the egg thing was weird, but I hey. think it was scary. Star Wars Episode Eight, horrifying. I'm not up to date with the uh, Star Wars lore, so I, I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry. I watched The Thing on accident when I was little. Yeah, anything you watch when you're little is gonna mess you up. Like, I watched Brave Little Toaster when I was little, <laughs> and that gave me the nightmares. <laughs> and that is a cartoon, <laughs> although um, it is uh, Water Shift scary. Down. Is that a dog one? It's a bunny one. I feel like I've seen that. Ugh. If you haven't, don't. Don't do it. It'll get you. Guys, you can just ignore ignore my lich. I don't have my thing on. I don't have my pears on. <laughs> just leave it alone. Just extract. Uh, oh, a few people saying Coraline got him. Max Coraline Brinks is really good, yeah. And Breaking Pointer. I've Both found that, that very scary. The Mars Fridges? I don't know what you're talking about. You get 10 members from stabbing him. But I don't... I don't have... I don't have anything on my pairs on, so I'd rather have something on it to at least potentially have a chance. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Cool. Apollo 18, Freaky Freaky. Is that, wait, Apollo 18. Is that the space one? About the Apollo? I mean, it's scary, but it's not a horror, that's for sure. I mean, space is kind of scary. I mean, space is very scary. <laughs> Courage the Cowardly Dog. The Village is the best. I feel like I've seen that. It's the one with the blind woman trying to get help for her town. And there are these like cloaked people with claws. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Have seen. Monsters Inc. scared me for life. You know, the thought of it is spooky. Oh, we got some people. Let's get some angst. Um, the thought of Monsters Inc. is terrifying, but it's obviously Disney, so they did it super adorably, you know? Ooh, uh, Starling Pop-Tart TV1 has another camera-related mm. story. Mm -hmm. At night around 1.30 a.m., we have door when cameras. When things happen at the same time, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out of it. We have door cameras at every angle, and someone was knocking on my door, but on the camera, no one was in front of the door, even though I was there listening to it being knocked on. I ran up to the third floor of the condo and hid in my in my sleep. The knocking stopped, but then my balcony door started 
to knock lightly. Oh God, knocking is weird. Knocking is weird. So Although, is it wet. pipes? Is it the house? You know? We don't know. But imagine if that's really happening, right? And I we're know. All like, it's gotta be the pipes. Yeah, I, I, I totally get it. I totally get it. <laughs> the Grudge got me. I saw The Grudge in theaters. Oh boy. The Japanese one or the English? Uh, the English one. With and then I saw the Japanese one at home because they, they weren't, they don't, they didn't usually play any of the actual good Japanese ones. Right. In, uh, in our local theaters, so I had to watch the crappy American one, but I have seen the uh, the OG way better. Mm -hmm. Always better. Dark Crystal? That's just uh, just like the weird, uh, what do you call it? Puppets? Are they puppets? What are the, there's a better word for them, I think. I don't know if they are puppets. They're just creepy. You don't like that type of animation style or I motion? I love it. I think it's, what am I looking at? What is this? What is this? Oh, oh. Cephalo. It was blending in. I was like, what am I looking at? Um, no, I think it's really cool, but it has that like creepy quality. Like, Baby Yoda's cute as hell, but he's also really creepy. Right. He's got a real creepiness to him. Creepy boy. Oh, Sakaki-san reminding us of The Audition. That's a horror movie I will never watch. I'm not sure I've ever seen that or heard of that. It is The Audition. Just. Okay, okay. It, it's like a torture <laughs> movie. Oh God! Don't I wouldn't recommend it. Well, I haven't even seen it, and I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, it's kind of like like I enjoyed the very first Saw. I thought that was cool, but then it just got real weird. Mm. And they, I feel like they just kept running out of things to grossly do. Except for the needle pit one, just messed me up. Oh Yikes. God! Because I don't like needles. I know, haha. -ha, but I hate needles. <laughs> So, I know. <laughs> I know. You and every doctor I've ever been to also laughs at me. We're moving on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, Sir. Angsty. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna die. A slash proc. Save me. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh my god. He just came out of nowhere and just slapped me. Ah! Get him. Oh god, I got Desecrate on. Get Desecrate on. No, I'm gonna die. Ah! Save me. Save me. Save me from my sins. Uh, anyway, yeah, the 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 saw or the the needle moment in the, the saw series was disgusting, and I hate everything about it. Because it also reminds me of I'm beyond repair. That's so rude. <laughs> um, I was an avid watcher of Fear Factor as oh. a child, like to the point where one time we got in a car accident, and my first thought was, I hope we're not late to see Fear Factor on our way home. <laughs> no. I'm not joking. Anyways, Joe Rogan, you're a man. Uh, and there was one, and it got talked about a lot for the time, that it always, the, like, is three, Fear Factor, there's three challenges. And then the second one is always something really gross. So they're eating something and they gotta be like, and dug in a hole of worms. I don't know, it's always really weird. And the third one just kind of varies, but the third Fear Factor challenge they did was they, they were all, uh, they were in a prison and they were all in a jail cell and it's like couples do it, right? Like you and me would go, Reb and Danny would be and whatever, we'd be against right, each other. Right. And the third one was you're in a jail cell and you have to do increasingly thick needles. So you'd start with the normal one and then it would just keep getting, th and I was like, what am I watching? Like, That's horrific. As a child, and I was small too and I was just like, oh! That's fucking nasty. Oh, sorry, that's nasty. <laughs> but I love Fear Factor. I remember uh, watching one with my babysitter and it was the one where they had to get, there was a bucket of maggots and then chicken feet and they had to use oh. their mouths and get the chicken feet out. No. <laughs> so disgusting. <laughs> and I was just like, ah, I love this show. <laughs> so my babysitter was like, was you're terrifying. messed up. You are messed up. I know, Fear Factor is disgusting but it's disgusting for a reason. But the needle one was just like, no, no thank you. I will I will eat something gross, because I'll just throw it up and I'll be fine. But the needle, mm -mm. Mm -mm. You would eat You would eat chicken feet, feet maggot, yeah, whatever that. that was. I'd do that. Maggot surprise. Yeah. All right, I respect that. I'd I do it. I'll eat something gross. I have mad respect for that. But if we ever do Fear Factor together, I got you. I honestly think I'll take on the needles and you can take. Yeah, on the this maggots. is me being overconfident, but I feel like I would be so good at uh, Amazing Race. 
Because there's oh. always challenges where they have to do something really gross or like what I feel like I could just do it. Uh, let me do it. I will be an amazing racer. I will be an amazing, I'm not fast, but <laughs> I can eat some weird shit. I don't know. <laughs> oh God. Then we get another Saw movie with Chris Rock. That's going to be awful. Whoa. I love Chris Rock, but he's not for that. I don't know. Fear Factor seems so normal, but in hindsight, it's like WTF. Absolutely. Well, they just got, I guess we're doing it again. Oh wait, no, was there another one? Oh, we'll do violence. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> um, we'll do violence. <laughs> it's just a weird sentence. <laughs> uh, well, what was that someone just said? Uh, 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 oh, I forgot. Oh, well, uh, I don't know. Do you uh, remember what it was about? No. Okay. I totally forgot it. Um, the most nasty part of Saw was the acid bath. See, I haven't seen all the Saws because they just oh, got increasingly oh. stupid. But I just always remember the needle pit. And I'm just like, eh. No eh. thanks. Eh. No thanks. No thank you. No needles for me. I know. I get it. I get it. But prime access for you? But prime access for me. I'll take it. Ooh. Ha ha ha. Ivara, prime access. And why don't we, after that, do a prime vault since it's the last day for Ash Prime and Voldemort Prime. Love so we it. got, uh, uh, that's not an is it name. Uh, Al, Aljuxtish, Aljuxtish, sure. <laughs> on Twitch and uh, Zalexi, Zalexi on Mixer. Congratulations, you both have won. And Ivara Prime Access, please whisper either the Twitch or Mixer platform, the one that you won on, with your in-game alias and the platform you play Warframe on so we can get you your Ivara Prime Access. Congrats. And once I'm done this mission, we'll do Prime Vault because Switch is up tomorrow. You got your Necros Prime, your Oberon Prime tomorrow. But it's the last day. Exciting. It's technically the last 24 hours until your boys get switched over, so. Get it while it's hot, you know? Mm -hmm, mm hmm You know? I've never been a fan of horror movies. They are not for everyone. I know that. Me neither, Mask Bandit. I go through phases where I'm into them or I'm just like, I only want to watch happy thing. You know what I mean? What oh, yeah. is that guy doing? Uh, it's all about what my, my mood, right? It's usually why I don't watch um, like war movies, because they make me like really sad. Oh, but I saw 1917. I saw 1917 too! It's so good! Oh, and oh, so good. Oh I watched God, Oscars right. last night and they won the awards and oh, I'm so proud. Deserving. It is such a good movie, I'll give you that. But yeah. like, and I think this is because I talked about this recently with someone where when I was a kid, I watched Saving Private Ryan as a child. As a child, you should not be watching Save It Prior, right? Oh. That is a bad movie to watch. And it messed me up for like any war movies because I was just, I, I remember being on the couch with my mom and I was like, should I be watching this? She's <laughs> like, yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's history. And I'm like, hey! Uh, and I had nightmares for days and she's like, oh, sorry. You also, we also have our winners, which I can read out. It looks like they did the, they faded away there. Winners for what? Um, Prime Vault. Oh, I said we would do it after, it's okay. My bad. <laughs> you read, you read, you go. Miss Ricky. Um, all right, on uh, Twitch, Shaman Dally 12 has won, and on Mixer, JuneStorm84. So message us, your in-game alias and your platform, we'll send you your prize. Send you your goods. Mm -hmm. Saving Private Ryan was Vin Diesel's first movie. I don't remember that he was in that. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's how long, it was so long ago, but it scarred me. The knife, I just the whole thing is just bad. Not bad like bad movies, it's just like, oh God. It's just, it's not a good time as a child to be watching Saving Private Ryan. No, no. And having no real understanding of like what's going on other than a lot of blood. <laughs> Ugh. Ew. <laughs> no thanks. Matt Damon, is Matt Damon in it? Oh yeah, he is. yeah, he's in it. I know Matt Damon's in it. I haven't seen it at all, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, watching it as an adult is fine. Okay, fair enough. But. Yeah, it's, it ain't a good time if you're looking for a feel good night, you know? What do you watch on feel good nights? Um, I mean, Shrek. Of course, <laughs> Shrek, what am I saying? No, I'd watch like anime or like a rom-com. I mean, like- Twilight. I, there's I mean... only one good, one good Twilight and that's the one where they get married and that's the only good one. I think that's a- uh, Breaking Dawn part no, one? No, Breaking Dawn, Breaking Dawn. Yeah, it's the only good one. Um, well, that's what I mean. Like right now, I'm on the kick of watching like 
murder mystery right now, something weird about horses, you know? Heck yeah. That's what anime do you typically watch, Megan? I mean, My Hero I'm watching. Uh, I need to catch up on Black Clover. I want to watch that volleyball one. <laughs> um, oh, there was another one. Oh, I can't remember. I have to like look at Crunchyroll to be able to remember what it is I'm supposed to be watching. I have a curated list, you know? Uh, That's a good way to be, yeah. Yeah, ha Haiku is the volleyball one. Uh, I mean, I can't wait for Demon Slayer season two slash the movie to come out. Uh, I've been told to watch Dr. Stone. I do want to watch that. Mm. I, I need to give the rising of the shield hero another go. Like I said last time, there's a whole bunch, you know, there's a whole lot, whole lot, whole lot. Uh, she yeah. needs to watch Dragon Ball Z. No, I've never watched <laughs> a Dragon Ball Z in my life. In my life, Seven Deadly Sins. Try Goblin Slayer. Ooh. Ooh, I remember I watched one and it was about like a butler murdering people and I was just like, this is making me sad and Black scared. Black butler? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. It was like a, a little kid and then a butler. Right, yeah. well, I've only seen like three episodes. I remember thinking it would be good and I watched it like at nighttime and then I was like, maybe not. <laughs> not nice. It's not making me feel good. Shame on you for your lack of Dragon Ball, Megan. I, instead of Dragon Ball, I watched Naruto and Bleach and Pokemon it wasn't about Dragon Ball. I was too confused by it. Mm -hmm. I didn't know mm -hmm. what was going on because I never, because it was just always random. Well, not random, it was in sequence, but like I, I hadn't started it. Pokemon I've seen since day one. I've seen them all. Mm -hmm. I've seen them all. Uh, did I hear Goblin Slayer? Who's the Goblin Slayer Warframe? Uh, uh, I mean, what's a goblin? What do you consider a goblin? Everyone could be a goblin slayer. Depends on, I feel like Grendel looks like a goblin because he's a big boy. <laughs> big boy goblin. He's the best. He is the best. Dragon Ball's trash? You said it, not me. I repeated uh, it, but oof. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Well, my understanding is there's a version of Dragon Ball now where it's not a bunch of, because they used to fill up time with the same type of shot for a long time. The guy like powering up for like exactly. seven but episodes or something? they cut that down. So you could watch mm -hmm. it if you wanted to get more story. I'd watch like the abridged version. A little less Kamehameha, a little yeah. more <laughs> plot. A little more plot, a little more story. New Pokemon season is good. I watched the like new episode of, it's the one that's based off of the Gala region with like the Corviknight or whatever. So that was something that was like, 10 minutes, I don't know. I don't know. Helsing abridged? Helsing, isn't that a movie? Helsing? Grendelic is Kirby Sonic? Correct. Uh, One Piece is, yeah, I watched like the first probably three or four episodes of One Piece. Mm -hmm. And it's just so long. Like, there's just so many and it's just like so intimidating. You start to watch it and you're like, there's so Sailor Moon, I've seen them all. I've seen them all. Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon is OG, you're right. I've seen Violet Evergarden. Oh. I cried, we talked about this, cried every episode. <laughs> Every episode I was crying. I was like, what am I doing? Why am I here? Uh, Mondo Wolf, if you've lost some of your platinum, please message support, make a ticket with them, support.warframe.com, and they'll help you out. Season 12 of Drag Race. Oh, I love Drag Race. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Is next Monday the family thing in Canada? Kylo, thank you for reminding me. Yes, next Monday is what is now a holiday called Family Day. I will be spending it with my family, AKA Rebecca, playing Persona, uh, Persona for the whole day. That's what I will be doing, but there will be no stream because I'll be playing Persona and having a holiday. So there will be no stream next week on Monday, holiday. All right, and that's, uh, that's pretty much it for us, you guys. We are gonna be raiding uh, Azrael 112 tonight, today, after this stream. Uh, oh, someone just sent me a picture of a bird. A parrot. Um, and then tomorrow is PS4 at 4 with DE Danielle. Wednesday, is it you, Helen? It should be, that's the plan. Helen is back with the Switch stream uh, Monday, no, sorry, Wednesday morning, 10 a.m. <laughs> and then uh, it's actually gonna be Danielle and myself uh, this Thursday Ooh. for prime time. Uh, we're gonna be doing, I think we might do stalker mode because it's Valentine's and I feel like that's a weirdly appropriate thing to do is do stalker mode for Valentine's. Why does that make sense? That I don't know, sense. I think we did it last year. I think we were like, Haha, ha, Valentine's stalker mode. Haha, ha, take you on a date, kill you. I don't know, whatever. So that's what I think we're gonna do. Um, so uh, we'll see you Thursday for that. And then there is a dev stream this week. 
you're gonna want to tune in and listen to it. Aha! That's all I got. All right. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, everyone. Be kind to everyone. Stay safe. And we will see you this week for a stream every single day. Bye. <laughs>